hello welcome to my youtube channel so today's logic pro tutorial is for absolute beginners are you starting a music career or you want to become a certified sound engineer this is a very simple process for you to go through i just want to salute your courage for starting this career of sound engineering or music production let me just show you how to navigate your way through the application itself it's very simple let's dive right into it first let's launch logic pro while it's loading, the amount of time it loads depends on how many plugins you have installed on your Logic Pro. I mean, when I say plugin, I mean third party plugins that are external to uh, Logic Pro. So, after Logic Pro finished loading, in most cases, you would think that something is wrong with your computer because ah, it just finished loading. So, where's Logic Pro? Actually, Logic Pro is open. So what you do is go to the top of your computer and then you find here there's Logic Pro X is already open. So you come to file, open new. You can start with template, but for the purpose of this training, let's start with new. So when you click new, a new empty box will open for you. Let me cancel this so that it will be an empty strip. Yeah. So this is the interface of Logic Pro. Uh, so for here there is a software instrument which is the external plugin and the internal plugin that are installed on logic pro which is the vst mostly vst this is for midi if you have any midi instrument just like um yamaha and every other thing that you install that follows through midi you can just plug it here and then you you can find them here or this is audio this is mostly for audio recording just like my voice if you want to take vocal this is for drum actually there are drum machine installed on logic and then also guitar and bass these are preset uh, audio channel that you have all the guitar uh, app and all the guitar plugin preset and uh, they are arranged for you so that you can use but for for the purpose of this training let's start a software instrument which includes every third party plugin plus the plugins install that comes with our logic pro so click here and create an empty channel space so this is the interface you have already created uh one instrument channel so the first thing you do you come here to file and save because it is very important and naming is very important so that you can organize your file so it will open a saving window for you and then you can name your project you can start by creating a folder and name it my first logic project instead after saving you are safe already so if per eventually you're using logic and in some cases it crashes but logic is one of the most powerful and reliable software you can ever get in the industry so if by any chance it crashes you don't have a problem it will automatically be backing up in a folder for you you have all the backups that you need as long as you want to be a sound engineer or music producer this is your pali for now so get familiar with the interface play around what i will always suggest to anybody who is new to any application whether logic pro premiere pro any other pro just play around with the software play around check it out just play around you get familiar with the interface so after creating the first track which is the instrument track you can check there's a track uh channel strip so each channel strip has its own uh plugin input which is where you're going to get your preset this setting is where you can get preset for any other preset for basically everything you want if you are playing in, in guitar here you have a preset for guitar over here and then you can actually load it and then and then you have your guitar sample already loaded you understand so let's undo you can undo by pressing command z on your keyboard and it will undo everything you've done so for the purpose of this training, let's say you want to load an instrument or a plugin 
in particular, let's say piano. You can load it here. Look at all the plugins that I've installed. These are external plugins. And then let's say you want to load a piano. You come to tune track. If you have the plugin already, you can choose tune track and then choose EZ piano. It will load. You see? It's loading already. So you can play all the keys. And you have it. So let's go into details. So we're going to cover every tool up here and then come down here. If time permits us, we're going to cover every tool. So for instance, since you've already chosen uh, your instrument, which is a EZ key, look at this. This is a sound library where you can choose all sort of instrument from and then any kind of instrument. This gives you more information on the channel strip and then you check all your channel strip you can add any instrument you want let's say EZ key you want to add it EZ key you see so if you want to add audio compressor you can add it if you want to add EQ you can add EQ uh two ways our logic already has a preset of its EQ applied on a channel strip so you can either add your own kind of EQ that if you don't like the logic or uh, EQ you can add yours or you use logic EQ which is a standard EQ and I really really use it most of the time because they are really good look 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 you can apply the EQ but for you as a beginner you don't need all this stuff just get yourself familiar with logic so number two on the line is this question mark this question mark once you click on it it tells you everything in fact is the teacher itself it tells you everything you need to know on the interface once you hover your mouse around any other thing it will tell you let's say you want to know about this play look it will give you an information on the play button and it will tell you exactly what every button that you hover around does look at 120 oh it's metronome is tempo display so you can either adjust your tempo or increase your tempo all right so this is for what oh this help you to open other tools and then you use them so let's see this oh this is a control for uh any software or the instrument that you put you can control every other thing like the threshold and everything is a control panel and then wow this is for the mixer like every other audio software there's a mixer where you can mix your sound and then if you want to reduce fader instead of there are many ways to reduce fader let me toggle off this this is a fader and this is the same fader so I think X is how to toggle on mixer and X is to toggle it off. And then look at scissors. Whoa. Whoa, this one opens the piano roll where you can edit some of your sound. Oh, normally if you're growing up and you've used a uh, radio tape, any other, these are signed for backward, forward, uh, what is this pause and then stop or play this is record button once you click on it this is a record button once you click on it it automatically start recording yeah oh from the information above R is for recording so if you press R on your keyboard it will automatically start recording once you play anything okay yeah so this circle is for loop you can see a yellow light or yellow circle around four bars so this is it yellow for toggling on and off so if you want to toggle it on if you don't want to come here you can as well click on this bar it will toggle it on and off let's toggle it on so coming to here it spells bar here it spells beat 
and here is spell temple. So you're asking me what is a bar? Honestly, bar is where you go and drink. You go with your friends and get drink. But I'm just kidding. <clears throat> In music terminology, four beat equals to one bar. So a four beat is one, two, three, four is a bar. So if you have four counts, it gives you one bar. So let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we have four bars already. Wow. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So four beat equals to one bar. So if you have four beat and it cost one bar, you have 16 beats. It gives you four bars. Am I right? Yes, eight plus eight is equals to 16. I went to school actually. So uh, this is tempo where you can choose the speed of your beat. If you want to make a dance beat, I suggest you go for 130, uh, 120. If you want to make some cool jam like uh, R&B and every other thing, you can reduce your tempo and the count goes slowly. Wow. So if you want to increase your tempo, you go to 120. So you can make beat by that. Um, time signature. It depends on the genre of the beat that you want to make. You can use time signature in every beat. Uh, most music have different time signature. The church music, the gospel music, like um, the hip hop, mostly use four over four. And every other song, they have different time signature. I suggest you do special study on time signature so that you can know the kind of genre that you're familiar with or you want to produce. While well, coming to this arrow, this is a bunch of applications. So you can see this one has to do with editing and every other thing, but we'll go into it. What's this for? Can we find the information? Oh. This is a replace button. You can click and replace existing recording by just pressing this one. You understand? So, uh, this one is this. This one is for if you want to tune an instrument or something, you can connect it there and then tune. Yeah. So this is a solo button. So let's say for instance, we want to let's import a loop. Uh, sorry. Like two loops. Okay, I've gone ahead of myself. So you want to solo this particular one. You go ahead and click S and then you solo it only. When it comes to the other one, it won't play. If you click on the second one, it automatically solo that particular one until you press this S, it will enable each and every one of them. So one, two, three, if you toggle it, it gives you a pre count to recording. So if you press record, it gives you four counts before it starts recording. Yeah? So this is a tempo. If you have been hearing those cut, 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 K is for toggling on recording. If you press K, it will toggle on the, the count. If you press K again, it will off it. So let me on it. So off. So this is a master volume, as we all know, is a master volume. Once you're playing a soundtrack, if you drag it down, it automatically goes down. If you drag it up, it automatically comes up. This is a soundtrack master volume. So each and every one has. So again, you can own your mixer by pressing X. Let me off this question mark by pressing X. Look at the master track here. So once you play, you can reduce your volume here, or you come here to set it to zero, zero, you're good to go. So 
to play spacebar and every other thing yeah so here is all the information you need to know about the notes that you're playing and you know and then the second one here is your notepad amazing if you're on a project and you want to make notes maybe the artist is telling you what he wants on a particular song or you're mixing or doing any other thing you can actually write the artist wants me to increase he increase his voice full stop then you click done so it will automatically save anytime you come back here you find your note and all that so this one is for the loop where i actually drag loop from logic automatically comes with loop bunch of loop that you can download is up to like 60 or 50 gig of loop that you can use to start your project with these are royalty free loops you can use them for your project to start up at any point in time logic has been so generous to help its users to start with so this is a loop for you you can choose any loop and just drag it in it will automatically create a track for it so this is how you use your loop you see let's say i want to make a beat like that i can drag everything and then mind you the loops automatically adapt to the tempo that is on the project so you don't have to adjust any project loop or any tempo once you import a loop inside so see nice beat you understand very very nice beat just now i've made a beat i can even sell it for you if you want so this last one is for media and every other stuff that you have if you want to import media if you want to import any other it's asking for my permission to import every other thing you understand you can import music you can import video you can import movies and every other thing that is embedded in your system so um logic is actually very easy to use it's pretty straightforward so like i said these are basically what you need to know about logic logic is a an absolute good software that you can use anytime and you're good to go so the interface itself is simple and then see this project we can now export it if you want to export your project you can i'll go into details but this is pretty what you need to know about logic and and i hope you learned something so if you want to subscribe to my youtube channel please do so and if you do so i'll be so grateful you do that so in my next tutorial we're going to start by building each block after the each order until you are able to know something or be able to stand by yourself and start a project from start to end thank you for watching for today so join me next time when we start another project so please don't forget to subscribe bye for now